Welcome to CBS 5 News here at 530. Chris has the night off. As we told you just a few moments ago, a nurse was arrested up in Utah after refusing to take blood from an unconscious patient. But do you know your rights right here in Arizona? Our Donna Rossi has the answers for you. DUI patrols will be out in full force all across our state this Labor Day weekend. If you get stopped or arrested, you might not know your rights when it comes to giving a blood sample. Almost every jurisdiction is doing blood draws. Some ju jurisdictions do breath and blood. Aaron Black is a criminal defense attorney in the Valley who specializes in DUIs. He says almost all officers get warrants for blood draws these days because the process has been made very easy. There are judges on call 24 hours a day and it could take probably five minutes to either get a warrant through a fax, they have email warrants now, or you can call up and get one over the phone. If an officer does not have a warrant, they either need your consent or proof that there are emergency circumstances preventing them from getting a warrant. None of that changes if you are in the hospital getting medical treatment or unconscious for some reason. The United States Supreme Court has held that we should be getting a warrant in these types of cases if someone can't consent to a blood draw. Arizona does have a law on the books that anyone who takes blood from a DUI suspect, including medical personnel, is required to turn the sample over to law officers or they are guilty of a crime. But again, policy in most law agencies across the state directs officers to obtain a warrant in that situation. It appears to me from the videos I've watched from police officers that the medical personnel and these police officers all have very good working relationships. If you are arrested for DUI and you refuse to give a blood, breath or urine sample, your license will automatically be suspended for one year. In Phoenix, Donna Rossi, CBS 5 News.